Hi, welcome back to Caravan Escapades. Um, no flowery shirt today, um, so I've just got a t-shirt. In fact, it's not a normal t-shirt. Uh, it's my Diddly Squat Farm Shop t-shirt. Um, I suppose for those that you don't know, Diddly Squat Farm is Jeremy Clarkson's farm um, down in Chipping Norton, I think. Um, so we were away um, at the caravan site just opposite the Cotswolds Wildlife Park um, just before, um, well, I think it was October time um, when we were allowed out in our caravans and so we headed over to the Diddly Squat farm shop. So no t-shirt, uh, sorry, no flowery shirt today. Um, so what have you guys been up to this week? Um, I've had work as normal, um, so we've been in work most days, but what I have done um, this week and it arrived this week is ordered the GoPro Hero 9 uh, action camera. Um, I'm using the SLR at the moment, um, as you know vlogging is still new to me. Um, but what I wanted to do was try with a new action camera, um, certainly for when we get outside there, so that we can start videoing, um, walkabout, site reviews, um, sticking it on the side of the car, doing entries into campsites, all those sorts of things, all those sort of exciting things. So I've got the GoPro uh, Hero 9 added to our collection of equipment, um, so I'm going to have a bit of fun probably later on this weekend learning how to use that. Um, so what am I going to talk to you about today? Um, right, what I'm going to talk to you about today is um, renovating a 1970s caravan. We, or we, I bought, Claire and I bought um, about, I'm guessing, probably would have been about eight years ago now, uh, maybe seven years ago, a 1979 uh, Ace Rallyman. Little two berth caravan, uh, paid next to nothing for it, um, took it on as a bit of a project. Uh, and the photos you're about to see um, are, is the, basically the work that, uh, that was done on the car caravan that both Claire and I did. Um, didn't get it finished, which was a bit of a pain, um, got three quarters of the way through it, um, but it was good, it was good fun, it was a good exercise, um, certainly learned a lot, um, lots of problems with the caravan, it was riddled with damp, battens rotten, so it really is a sort of stripped back, right back to metal. Um, so we did that. Um, Basically, life came along, came, got in the way, didn't give us time. Uh, Darcy May came along. By then, we'd already got another caravan uh, and we were enjoy enjoying weekends away. Uh, and it was just getting left. It wasn't getting finished. So I did manage to sell it. What I'll do at the end of this is I'll, on my outro, I'll explain where it went and what happened. Uh, but why don't you take a look? Take a look at um, me renovating the 1979, sorry, Ace Rallyman Pro. So this is when we just picked up the caravan um, from Castleton in Yorkshire um, when we got it back on the drive. Just going through the state of it. This was the state it's in. This is before we'd done anything to it. There's the back windows, the doors. You can see where it's kind of been weathered and slight dints and dings. But it was, as I thought at the time, reasonably solid. The empty uh, gas bottle box. Again, other views of the front. And then we start to go and take a look inside. So these were the cushions. Um, to be fair, it did smell a bit fusty, so we actually ditched the cushions. Uh, where you can see the fridge there, we found out that a rat had actually nested underneath the fridge. Um, so inside the wardrobe and then we look inside the bathroom again this is before sort of cassette toilets uh, with fold up sinks that sort of thing so you can see it was rather grim um, somebody had obviously tried to do various modifications this was the state of the sink but um, this was the uh, two ring gas hob and the sink which is quite retro and my plan was certainly to keep those and the oven the oven was probably one of the best things in the caravan it looked like it had never ever been used it was as clean as anything almost like a brand new oven and there's the grill some of the kitchen cupboards there's the fridge 
and it was just underneath there that the rat had got in just by the door there's Claire she's popping her face through the door again this is before we'd done anything to it and it was a little small two berth caravan which we plan and this is when I start ripping out obviously I've got rid of the cushions but start taking out the chairs uh, you can see I'd already started pulling off the wall panels there and you can see the state of the battens behind uh, they were just rotten right through the more I took off the more rot I tended to find you can see all around the opposite side as well where all the black is that's where all the the battens had got wet and rotted again that's the near side there's pretty much wasn't a great deal left of the battens and even the black ones that were there needed to be replaced so most of the furniture is out now um, and it's time to start taking off certainly some of the warboards Oh, this was the sunroof that I had. Uh, not the sunroof, sorry, the skylight. Uh, it was a bit of aluminium held in. Uh, and the gas box and the tow hitch cover. So I took the gas box off. It's fiberglass. It was going to be relatively easy to clean up and sort out. Uh, and the A-frame, the state of the A-frame. I actually did. Oh, this was the doorway. Obviously, wherever he's, where he's getting in and out, the door had sort of given way and rotted through. So we reinforced that, cleaned that up. Um, put some hammerite on the metal parts and then reboarded that and put a bit of varnish on just to finish it off and just to seal it so that's the area so the A-frame we start, I'd stripped down the A-frame and stripped the, stripped the tow hitch off um, actually checked and welded up anything that needed welding started to clean it down I stripped and rebuilt the original tow hitch this is it when I'd rebuilt it these are the wheel arches when I started to put some reinforced boards um, back in. That's the tow hitch refitted to the caravan. And you can see this is the door. I've taken the door and the door frame off now. You can see how flimsy it was um, and starting to rebuild the door frame to give it some strength back into the structure. and these are the sort of strips um, older caravans were made in panels that's the inside so that's the front end starting to de-panel you can see the dark black wood um, that's all got rotten some of it was just flaking away it was me taking it all out oh maybe i'm starting to put no i'm starting to put back in actually i can see with my sealant gun um, using silica flex to bond it back to the aluminium walls Yes, you can see there I'm starting to build it back up. And Claire cutting the battens. You can see the door frame on the floor there. So yeah, there's Claire cutting the battens. And that's the front end, at least just to underneath the front window where I built it back up again. Things are still flexed in. That's by the door, the bit you saw earlier on. Built that back up again. Screwed the um, battens together and then silk flex them. Um, to the frame starting to peel back around and behind the door you can see the rot uh, probably me still deciding what to do cleaning through there we go there's some of the batten work on the near side rebuilt back up with the door closed uh, that's the window sink so took the window frames out you can see from the inside the windows rotted around there. You can see to the right hand side where the buttons, uh, battens are rat rotted away. And they're starting to build up, or build the battens back up around the window. In the same way I've done the rest of it. Silka flexed it, screwed them together, bonded them to the aluminium. So there's quite a bit of the battening being re-put in here. You can see that I've redone it. In certain places, I've reinforced and put extra little bits in. This is a new jockey wheel, so I've got a new jockey wheel and fitted that with the locking handle. And there's me starting to pull off at the other side, probably looking at it thinking, oh, how much more of this have I got to do? It's 
pulling off some of the shelves what i found with some of the furniture it was actually screwed from the outside so the caravan was built um, framed up insulated and then skinned afterwards um, so there's certainly certain bits of some of the electrics i was faced with and again taking off the um, strips along the outside that were between the aluminium panels and screwing back on starting to build back up and screwing back on you know, window frames all the wood around the windows have gone so building that back up you can see as the framework's gone back together bit of work from the outside so there's all the framework on that side built up and this is in the bathroom or the smallest room in the house again rotting invariably from the top stripping back insulation wall boarding gone window out that seemed to be where most of the water was coming in from so get that out reseal that start to uh, probably look at building back up that's where you saw the sink earlier on in some earlier pictures again I think I'd started to build back up at that point yes you can see the new batten work going in I did the curves with solid pieces and as you see in the corner there the curves with solid pieces just to give that a bit of extra strength and started some of the work on the outside these were various dinks and dents and knocks uh, that were there was sort of filling them in along the back there was quite a few uh, dents where somebody probably been leaning a bike or that sort of stuff so starting to rub down on the outside certainly with the strips off filling in all the uh, the dents and the marks the scrapes the scratches I used a mixture of um, car body filler and uh, fiberglass body fillers. There was quite a lot. This is the uh, the front with the um, gas box uh, etc. taken off. And this is the other side. Again, this is the A-frame totally painted now, hammerited, cleaned, and now starting to do some fiberglass repairs um, and sand down the A-frame cover. This was the state of the ceiling after I'd taken some of the um, some of the furniture out or some of the cupboards etc. And that's the um, skylight from the outside. It was watertight, it did the job for the time. So I've taken that off now, taken the ceiling boards off and it's time to fit a new skylight. And so the skylight fitted and uh, reboarded ceiling. And there's the skylight all silker flexed in and this is the other part of the ceiling again with the fiberglass not the fiberglass so it's hardboard taken out and replaced re-insulated behind as well and this is me starting to get the cabling in place feeding the cabling through the battens just getting that held in place that was the electrics um, that we're going to put back in the caravan here's some of the windows again I think every window I took out the frame, cleaned it up, put it back in. Yeah, there's the window frame, rubbed it down, cleaned it, separated it, put it back up, resealed it all. Yeah, just filling in and tidying up the ceiling where we've taken the ceiling panels down and put new panels up. These uh, silker flex again being used before the windows get bonded back in. There's some more of the panelling on the front, just adding sort of metal reinforcing plates on the joints. That's the awning rail, having taken the awning rail off. Um, I was going to try and re-straighten that. So these are all the trim panels being taken off. So we're quite late into the evening, if I remember night. It was a bit of a nightmare because most of the screw heads had already sort of rusted away. You couldn't get a screwdriver on them. Um, so all the edge trims including the uh, the awning rails were taken off and then what I did was I peeled the skin back because um, the skin was sort of folded over so I peeled the skin back and cleaned away 
all the old sealant so I got back to sort of bare aluminium then silica flexed uh, back in there before folding back you can see this is around the curve all the dirt and the gunk that's in there now I've cleaned it back so I silica flexed then folded it back for the silica flex to bond it in place and seal it all up but then what I did I went over it with fiberglass filler um, to give it a really good seal so all the edges I folded back cleaned silica flexed and then fiberglass filled over the top of that once we bonded it back in place so again really starting to put some proper effort in on the outside now the wheel arches have been removed to start cleaning up and putting around there And then a lot of filler and various bits going in all around you can see where we had um, seams and edging strips and trim strips are all being sort of peeled back and clean that's around the wheel arch again it's all been cleaned up flattened out ready to refit in again this is um, fiberglass filler and then body filler over the top ah this is me ready to cut out and mark out for fitting a water heater I think this is over the kitchen area again some of the rotten battens yes this is the cupboard above the uh, above the sink now uh, that was rotten in the place in the base and needed pulling out so looking back down the caravan at the battenings I've been done so I created a framework um, certainly for the water heater to go in mark that out so mark that out cut it um, cut it smaller and then fold it back and tack back um, so we got sort of a folded edge there's the carver heater fitted back in the hole and there it is from the inside and then with its outside cover these were second hand some of these bits that I bought from various breakers uh, this is my water point the hole at the size of my water point did the same thing yep you can see that's uh, that's where we fit the pump and that's those two fitted So that's the inside, um, it was the um, electric version. The gas fire, I took the gas fire out, uh, was going to fit a new gas fire um, or try and get this one refurbished. Um, so that's underneath the gas fire in bits. This is where somebody tried to fit 240 volt sockets previously uh, and just cut some big holes and just kind of ran the wrong flex, household flex um, around the caravan certainly with a solid core which is certainly not to be used on caravans and me starting to put the uh, the pipe work now onto the pump some body filler again um, behind those holes in the wardrobes and various places where somebody had started to use the uh, or cut holes for 240 volt sockets and this is me running the cables in underneath the wardrobe at the back of where the fire goes through to the bathroom you can see just to the right they have teed it off to go up towards the sink the caravan only had um, cold running water before so I was going to put hot and cold running water in it and these are the cables that's the sink uh, and the hob it was a combined unit that came out of the kitchen you can see it there stripped out and there's the oven And the oven removed and taken out a gas pipe connected put away for safe storage these are those uh, those electric sockets where I filled it in or filled the holes in and rubbed them down uh, my plan was certainly to paint all the uh, the frameworks the wardrobes that sort of thing and this is me starting to insulate the caravan I'm very lucky that I actually work in the rail industry uh, and this was insulation that we've used on trains um, so it came in sheet form this is a soldering iron i was using to cut it to the sizes that i wanted um, again ceiling going back on in the bathroom uh, base of the cupboard over the kitchen rotted through that's been replaced or being replaced so that's a new base in there again and the distribution unit, the electrical distribution unit that was going to be fitting back into the caravan and me starting to put in and pull through the 240 volt uh, cable 
you can see the, um, the space age sort of rail foam panels. I managed to drill through the caravan. Uh, and this is a hole that I made on the other side, uh, but then filled, sorted it out and thankfully disappeared. And you can see all the 240 volt cable are in there now being threaded through the battens, drilling holes. That's where I'm going to mount the um, distribution box, electrical distribution box, and cables going round through the bathroom, pipes going up, and bodywork being finished and done on the outside, and more of the wiring being threaded in through the battens. Uh, I decided to put a 12 volt and 240 volt external socket in the caravan so I modified one of the 240 volt um, sockets and added a 12 volt cigarette lighter style socket. The plan was to be able to plug in things like um, tire pressure gauges and um, cool boxes that sort of stuff so this is me marking out and fitting the 240 volt socket. That's a 240 volt socket fitted in place with the 12 volt cigarette lighter style socket. And that's the back end. You can see the cables and everything coming through. So there's a lot of the insulation now on the um, caravan between the vattens. This is the top corner being filled and rebuilt again. Uh, this is the bathroom inside the bathroom. Um, using a different, trying a different type of bonder. Again, okay, just popping back to the insulation. Some of the battens look a bit darker. That's because I treated them once I fitted, painted them with a, oh, sorry, painted them with a sort of sealant type of um, solution. This is in the bathroom. The same sort of uh, black insulation being fitted. Again, what I did to try and start getting the angles on the corner of the windows is filling it with fiberglass and then sanding it down. It's another view of the insulation. The bathroom from afar with the insulation that's gone in. I think Claire, this is Claire taking a photo of me trying to fit the insulation. Again, just another view of the other side of the caravan with the insulation in place. I use spray glue to um, to hold it in place. Just different views. Now again this is another insulation that I got that we use for trains, um, basically laid it on the floor, um, certainly on the plywood flooring um, to give the, uh, the floor of the caravan a good form of insulation underneath. Quite a thin but quite a good quality insulation. Now I managed to get some plywood squares as offcuts, um, quite a few of them. So rather than fully plywood in the floor, I thought I'd use these and it'd give the floor a bit of flexibility. So you can see me sort of laying the plywood squares down here. That's the bathroom, the plywood squares laid down. Cut a bit like a jigsaw and made them fit in. Um, so then I thought it's probably time we started on the hubs and axles. So stripping the wheel off, that's the hub, the state of the hub different view and you can see the state of the brakes from inside the hub not been used properly for a while the um, that's the hub stripped down and there's the inside of the hub and the brake shoes hadn't been used or it was going to be difficult to uh, source so I needed to decide what I need to do this is the opposite brake shoe or hub sorry that's the stub axle with everything stripped off. This is the original shock absorber, which is going to prove difficult to source, and the original spring. Had to cut the spring retaining bolt just to be able to get that off. A little dint, I think, on the side of the caravan that obviously needed repairing. Uh, what's this I'm fitting in? I can't remember to be fair. Making a hole for something else to go in there. I think those photos weren't quite in order. This is the frame that I've made up obviously for the right size. Bonded that and fixed that in place. 
Oh, this is the um, this is a 240 volt electric hookup point. That's what that is. So bonded that fitted the socket and that's what it looked like so we could start feeding 240 volts into the caravan those fo these photos are in reverse order unfortunately and you can see it bonded and sealed in place this is the uh, caravan stub axles with it all on blocks And painting uh, the metalwork camera right to clean off. I cleaned it all off first and then painted it down, prepping it. And now time to start making some templates for fitting the wall panels back on. And that's a before and an after of the stub axles, or one side done and one side, sorry not stub axles, the hubs. That's inside the, uh, the wheel arch is all prepped and painted. This is um, paper templates on the inside of the toilet walls uh, and then laid out on the plywood. So we can jigsaw it around and cut that down. And that's the plywood board all fitting in place in the toilet. The holes are where the vents are gonna go um, for it to vent outside. These are the brake shoes. Um, is that before or after? I think that's after before. Yeah, these are the brake shoes uh, in the state they were once I took them off before I sent them off for reshoeing. And continuing laying the um, plywood squares down onto the floor. That's the other end of the caravan and it done. And all the way through. So they're all the same thickness, I think they were three or four mil, I can't remember off the top of my head. And pinned in place. covering the whole floor so you've got the space age insulation um, and then the original plywood floor and this is me filling in all the gaps with a, an automotive flexible body filler and then going round the wall insulation on the battens with aluminum tape or aluminium tape as we say in the UK and that's the floor sanded down after we've been filled to sand it and smoothed off it got quite dusty in there but uh, there we go and sealed it I think what we've got here is this is after I've sort of varnished and glossed it and sealed the floor yes so varnished glossed it and sealed it just to uh, just to seal the floor in place I think it's still drying there and we're back to um, this is the sort of stone chip or anti stone chip sealant back to the aluminium tape on the inside plenty of aluminium tape just to seal in all the gaps and keep everything in place we glued it all anyway oh this is the fridge vent um, probably taken off the fridge vent because that was a bit of a state yeah taking that off cleaning it all up that's all the mastic removed. Putting a load of sucker flex on the inside. Bonding the inner part in place. And then mounting the cover back on. Uh, oh, that's the inside of it, yeah, as it comes through into the caravan. Um, this is the waste pipe and the water pipes for the caravan sink. Uh, that waste pipe is actually an old washing machine uh, waste pipe which I managed to reuse. And this is the bathroom all boarded up, so with all the boards in place. The pipe's coming through, ready to fix a new sink. Top corner of the bathroom where we'd filled and sanded it. Got everything sorted. Oh, and basically insulating around the um, the hot water heater, the carver heater. This is Claire making more paper templates to cut the plywood boards. And this is me fitting the plywood boards. Yeah, this is getting the slightly curved one that goes in just underneath the window. And then fitting it in. 
there we go and then just smoothing and filling any small areas that needed doing again bigger paper templates we managed to get a big roll of um of paper which proved very very useful and just hung it marked it taped it up cut it to size this is me using the staple gun um or the pin gun certainly to uh to get the wall boards pinned to the side you can see where the uh, electrical cables are coming through and that's all that one-sided boarded and bonded again just various different views of the plywood We use the 3.6 millimeter plywood. And these are the brake shoes back, um, all reshoed and ready to be refitted. Ah, uh, the front window. This is when I took the front window because the seal was leaking. Um, so we took the front window out. Uh, it was a frame that had to be split into two. Again, lots of rusty old screws. Uh, that sort of stuff which are quite trouble, troublesome to remove uh, but cleaned all the edges down as well and this is the frame split in two as it turns out I'd actually got a new window seal that I could use you could see there where the old ones all cracked and broken uh, and this is the new one um, slightly bigger than the one before so I had to use a bit of lubricant that sort of stuff to get the frame in but that's the uh, the window all back in and the rear toilet window. I think I had to take this out again. I'm not sure why, I can't remember why, but I think we took it out earlier on. I had to remove it once again, reseal it, get that put back in. Ah, the fridge, when I decided to refurbish, painstakingly cleaned it, rubbed it down, sorted it all out, got it ready. It did work, it worked perfectly. Um, and there's the, uh, the refurbished version, as you can see. Front end of the caravan starting to board more up. And then insulating over the wheel arches with the same foam and then blocking it in or covering it over with the aluminium tape. Then the side wall templates being made up again. Claire made most of these templates up. She sort got of hung it and stuck it together and cut it to size and then I got it out, stuck it or pinned it down to the um, the plywood and cut out the bits again that's the uh, the other area we took the insulation etc out so that's the plywood boards back in and round the door the small area above the door where we put the plywood in place just a view from uh, from the outside of the kitchen window now kitchen window out so again just clean up all the edges clean out all the old sealant um, refill it all clean off all the edges tidy all the edges up uh, this is another one where we stripped it down put new seals in etc bonded the uh, the aluminium to the new window frame and then refitted the window frame And this is the um, older caravans are sort of split down the middle in two pieces. So this is the centre bar or the centre cover strip that runs right down the centre of the roof of the caravan. It was again screws, rusted, really difficult to get hold of. Uh, and they did the same as I did with the other seals. Um, removed this, removed all the screws. There we are with all the old filler and sealant. Removed all of that out of the way. There we go, it's all sort of cleaned up. Um, and I did again as before peel that back um, fill it with Sikaflex um, and then filled over the top with fiberglass car body filler um, you can quite see it there and then normal filler over the top there we go and then sort of rubbed all that down ready for refitting um, shock absorbers I struggled to find a shock absorber but I did find one that came off an old T4 a new T4 um, VW camper van which worked a treat this is me rebuilding the um, the hubs 
and fitting the springs back in place new threaded bar had to cut the old ones off the new shoes everything else in place and the hub refitted uh, look certainly looks a lot better than it did in the first place so that's all back together ready for accepting wheels this is the other side again make a start on the other side clean it all off rub it all down um, start hammer right in the inside and then put the stone protection on bream out the shock absorber get the hub back on in the end I was um, going to get the wheels refurbished but for the cost of them I bought some brand new wheels so brand new wheels and tyres um, same PCD and fitted them back onto the caravan and this meant the caravan was able to be moved for the first time in, in quite a while get it a little bit further down the drive and take a look at where we're at with it and this is back to the roof uh, where we cleaned off all the um, the old sealant and resealed and fiberglassed over the seam as you can see it's uh, the body style or the body filler style fiberglass it's already got the um, the glass fiber mixed in back onto the inside so where we are sort of finishing off with some of the boarding up making sure we get as much as that done as we can and again just going around sorting out all the bits you can see there's quite a few bits that need filling and sorting um, on the caravan And this is where we got to sell it when I sold it to the lady who was going to turn it into uh, well going to do it up because we had to stop on the project so this is just us as we're leaving home ready to get on our way um, and these are some of the pictures of what she did with it um, didn't quite do it how we were going to do it um, that was like a before and after of the kitchen area um, and this is on the outside again probably not quite the color scheme we'd have chosen um, but she painted it and put various strips down it more pictures from inside she certainly was very artistic and made it look very nice inside um, and that's the bed made up at the front end and the um, the front end is chairs and there she is all set up in a pride and joy quite a bit of time and effort in she but then she's then sold it to a lady this lady here who does nails and wanted to turn it into a mobile nail bar um, so this is the caravan these guys stripped it out and turned it into a mobile nail bar and this is what it looks like now I haven't seen it for a while but I found these pictures on the internet so that's what became of our caravan a mobile nail bar unfortunately we didn't get to finish it but at least somebody else did so that was me renovating the Acerome in 1979. Um, it was a shame we didn't get it finished because um, I got some really great ideas for it. Uh, it was going to be tight anyway with, um, with it just being Claire, me and Darcy May being a small little two berth caravan. Learned a lot, did enjoy doing it. Um, but what happened was I ended up selling that to a school teacher, a primary school teacher based up in Blackpool. In fact, we towed it all the way from Nottingham to Blackpool. Those last photos you saw were, were hitched onto the back of the car, um, ready to go. So we took it to Blackpool and she renovated it as part of a school project with her pupils. She finished it off, didn't quite do it the way we were going to do it. But again, it was her caravan, so she could do it the way she wanted to. Um, so she did it as a school project with her school children. Uh, and then I think used it for one or two festivals, those sorts of things. But the but what I did subsequently find out is that she then sold it on to somebody else in the uh, Blackpool Lancashire area, who, believe it or not, um, converted it into a nail bar, a mobile nail bar. So I think they took the interior out again, converted it into a little nail bar, um, and I believe that it's been used in the northwest, north yeah, northwest as a um, as a nail bar. So that's it. That's what happened to our um, Ace Renaman. Would I take a project on like that again? Um, probably not, um, only because I want to be away enjoying ourselves in the caravan. Um, 
But certainly if you're doing a similar project, if you come across similar things, I'm more than happy to offer advice and help how we did things, where we did things. Um, if you want to drop a message below, send us a, go over to the Facebook page, send us a private message, more than happy to help out with that. So that's it for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching once again. I know it's quite long. There was quite a lot of photographs, I think 420 or something like that. Um, but thanks very much, appreciated. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Your support is very much appreciated. We've got quite a bit of content we want to bring to you with future vlogs and that sort of stuff. But guys, stay safe, look after yourselves. Hopefully we'll see you again soon and check out the next vlog. Thanks very much. Bye from Caravan Escapades.